Today, I'm going to be focusing into shipping into Shopify. Hey everybody, welcome back to TechPress. Let's check out how we can focus into shipping for your Shopify for beginners. So if you ever wondered how to streamline your Shopify shipping without hassle, let's see what we can do. First of all, let's understand the Shopify uh, shipping. So here, the importance here of the shipping cost is going to be really, really easy. So it's really important, guys, that you check out the actual importance of all the actual shipping and delivery, since what you're going to be doing here is to try to aim for sending products as fast as we can and as easier for all the customers. So what you wanted to do is to get started with the accessing the shipping settings. First of all, let's go into the settings into the left part. And here we go into shipping, uh, shipping and delivery. Here, as you can see, it says shipping and delivery. Now, as you can see, we have the shipping zones. Now, to create and manage some shipping host, what you want to do is to choose a general shipping rate that obviously appears in here. So, by default, it's going to be appearing in all my products, and all of them have the shipping zones of the domestic of Mexico. Why is that domestic? Because this is, let's say, our whole quarters for where we actually currently at. So that means that by default, all the things comes from uh, Mexico. Now, I can add a new rate here and you can choose to set up your own rates or to use a carrier or applications to include or calculate some rates. So let's say, for example, that the rate name should be standard and the price should be, let's say, for example, $9. So we can add additional price if you wanted to, but I'm gonna just leave this like that. So now as you can see, the price appears in here into this rate. I would just delete this. And now down here, instead of going for the shipping zone, I can create a new one. Now let's say for example, that I'm gonna be focusing into the United States. So let's go here into the United or the States, actually. And here you can choose this one, actually. And of course, by default, we are not able to add this uh, by default, since this one has already been added into the international zone. And now here into the international zone, you can see that we have all the elements that appears in here. We have added all of them here into the international, and we have the custom standard price. So we have this $20. All of this are going to be covered by the shipping zones. So we can start shipping to more places and go into the market. So we can check out what are the other markets that can be helping us to do this actual stuff. Now, lastly here, we have the actual recommendations. The recommendations are gonna be helping you to based on our similar stores, to start collecting taxes, to add Spanish language to Mexico, to protect your customer privacy, to start selling abroad by activating an international market and to publish Africans. So all of these elements can be helping you to boost your sales and do much more stuff. Now. Let's go into free shipping strategy. Now here into the free shipping strategy, it's gonna be encourage people to buy a product that they're seeing and they don't even have to pay anything else if they see that the ship, free shipping is available into the products. And how can we do that? What you wanted to do is to make sure that here into your products, you wanted to go and look out for, let's say for example, this product, right? So you can just scroll all the way down and you can see that we have all the variants. So if I focused into edit, I'm gonna go into edit the bulk. I'm gonna go for bulk edit. First of all, let's say for example, let's go for columns. Let's go for compare at price. And here into the compare at price, let's try to change this for $20. Let's go for $19 actually. I'm gonna make the whole progs the same price and the compare at price for $26. Now the shipping cost, I'm gonna to try to make this for free. What you want to do is to add the value of the shipping cost directly into the price of your product. So when you offer a free shipping, it, the people are actually gonna be paying for the price of the shipping cost, but they're not gonna be seeing that directly into the product. They're gonna be seeing that the free shipping is available and the actual uh, shipping price is gonna be available and add it automatically in here. So you don't have to worry about to add extra the, so people are not going to be, of course, worrying about to pay extra. So this is the actual price that we'll be paying at the end of the day. So it's going to go for buy it now. And we want to make sure that this one has the shipping, enter the shipping address and have this totally for free. So this is something that's going to be helping uh, a lot for your actual sales. So what you wanted to do now lately is to go back and make sure that if you have some drop shipping or print on demand, 
they wanted to make sure that all of those elements directly from the shipping and delivery are located and of course managed by their actual uh, suppliers in our case would be cg drop shipping and printify and well guys this is how you can set it up in shipping and delivery into your shopify with that being said guys don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools how you can get set it up into shopify thank you so much for watching the video guys hopefully we can all see you next time